Let's sculpt porcupines or hedgehogs with model magic. We're going to be using model magic, half pieces of toothpicks, and permanent markers to make our own cute little hedgehog or porcupine. This one was actually sprayed with a clear varnish when it was dry. We're going to be using a half ounce of bottle magic, and if you're using class pack pouches, the easiest way to do this is to cut open a pouch, which is one ounce, and then open it up and cut that in half so that you can get two of your little hedgehogs or porcupines from one pouch of bottle magic. If you want a slightly smaller porcupine, you could cut this into thirds. I wouldn't really go smaller than that though. They get really tiny at that point. So either a half or a third is a good size to make your project. Once you have your model magic out, you're going to squish and knead it and then roll it into a sphere. Once you have your sphere, you're going to want to give it a few taps on your work surface to flatten the bottom so it doesn't roll away. And then we want to shape our character, our little creature. So you're going to use a pinching movement with your fingers to shape what's going to be the head or face or nose of your porcupine hedgehog so that at one end you have a little bit of a point and at the other end it is still round from the sphere. Next, we want to add a face. So we're going to use a permanent black marker to add two eyes, one on either side of the little head part that we've made, the little pointed head part. And then we're going to add a nose by adding a dot in the middle at the front of that point. So first we're going to put our two eyes and then a little dot for the nose so that we have a cute little face on our creature. One way to add a mouth is to use our scissors. So we're going to take some scissors and just make a little tiny snip right below the nose that we made. And that's going to make a little opening for the mouth. And then you can use your fingernail to kind of shape that even more and give our creature a cute little open mouth. Now we want to give our little creature some ears and you could use the same color or you could use a different color. So you can even pinch the ears using the piece you already have and just sort of pinch the ear shape off. But we're going to add a separate color. So what we're going to do is take a little tiny piece and roll that into two really small spheres. And one is going to be for one ear and one for the other ear. And then you're going to flatten those spheres. So roll them and then flatten them. And once they are flattened, you're going to attach them one on either side of our creature's head. Next, it doesn't matter if you're going to be making a porcupine or a hedgehog. Both have little spiky quills to them. And we're going to be making those with half pieces of colored toothpicks. You could use plain toothpicks too. And they should be cut in half so that they're not too big for our sculpture. What we're going to do is put some white glue in a cap and every single toothpick that we use, we're going to take the flattened side, not the spiky pointy side, the flattened side, and dip that into the glue before inserting it into the back of our hedgehog or porcupine. And you want to spread them out. You might want to pay attention to which order you're using the colors. Are you using different colors? Are you going to do all the same color? You don't want to put too many, but you also don't want to put too few. Usually between 10 to 12 toothpicks is plenty. After you've inserted your toothpicks, you could call your sculpture done and just let it harden. Or if you wanted to, you could also add some feet to the bottom of your porcupine or hedgehog. To add feet, you're going to take four small spheres of model magic that you've rolled, and then you're going to very carefully place them underneath your hedgehog to make their front and back feet. Once you've attached them to the bottom of your hedgehog, you would want to give your sculpture a little bit of a tap on your work surface to flatten the feet, just so that it sits level onto the table or whatever area you're going to display your sculpture on. And there's your finished sculpture. Don't worry, the glue will dry clear.